In this video, I want to show you how we create user values in Promax, and specifically how we can use specifiers within our user values. So user values allow us to create variables or properties or calculations within Promax. So if there's ever a property that Promax doesn't already calculate for you, you can create that calculation within Promax by using these user values. In this system here, we're looking at a dehydration unit. And so we're circulating our glycol. And in this process, we're always going to lose a small amount of the glycol that we have. So we'll use, lose a little bit in our dry gas stream. We'll lose some in our flash gas stream. And we'll also lose some here in the water gas stream coming out the top of our glycol regenerator. And so what we want to do in this example is we want to sum up those losses and find out how much glycol we're losing per million standard cubic feet of gas that we have coming into our process here as our wet gas. And we're going to create this ratio of glycol lost per flow of gas using user values. To create a user value, I'll come up here in my Promax tab to my project viewer and open that up. And here in our drop-down list, we'll see this user value sets option. To create a user value set, I just right-click and choose to add. And this will create a new set for me. And within this set, I can create multiple variables within Promax. So we're going to create two different variables. First, we're going to create a variable that sums up the losses of glycol that we have. And then second, we'll make a variable that is this ratio of glycol losses per million standard cubic feet of gas. So to add a new value, I just come down here to add. This will bring up this unit selection window. So here I need to select what units my variable is going to be in. Here we have a list of standard units. So we can scroll down through this list. And for our glycol losses, we can report those as a mass flow, so as pounds per hour, is what we report those as. Once we've chosen the units for our variable, we can then just name our variable. I'll call this variable my glycol losses. And once I click OK, that variable will now show up in my list. So we have our variable name with its, with its associated units. And then this parameter box will represent the value for this unit or for this variable we've created. So it's in within this box that I need to do this calculation where I sum up all my glycol losses. To do that, we're going to use a specifier here in our parameter box. So I just right click, create simple specifier, and that will bring up my specifier window. I'll go ahead and name this specifier. This is my glycol losses specifier. And now here in our equation box, I can write out my equation, which we're going to lose some glycol in the dry gas plus the flash gas plus that water gas stream. So it's going to be the losses in the dry and the flash and in the water all summed up together. Now I need to tell Promax how to find those three variables. So I'll come down here to add my variables. And this will bring up our moniker tree. Here, looking through our P streams, let's find that dry gas first. So here's my dry gas. I can open that up, go into my phases, look at the total phase. I'm looking at the composition, and I want a mass flow of my glycol. So I select mass flow, find TEG here. That will represent how much TEG is in my dry gas stream. I'll name this variable dry to match what it's named in my equation, and I can click Add. Now I'll go find my next variable. I'll click Add again. If I scroll up, I can close my dry gas stream and open my flash gas stream. Go again, phases, total, composition, mass flow. I'll find my TEG. I'll name this my flash. Excuse me. <laughs> There's also this hold button within this moniker, win moniker window. If I click hold, now when I click add, that variable will be added to my list, but it will leave this window open so I can then find my next variable. 
which my last variable is in my water gas stream. I need to find how much TEG is in that stream. So again, phases, total, composition, mass flow, and we want the mass flow of TEG, which is our glycol. I just name this variable water. So I click add, adds it to my list. Now I just click close. And we'll see that this specifier is now adding up the losses in these three streams. So now I can just click back to go back to this window. And if I click to execute my project, we'll see that this user value has used our specifier to calculate for us the glycol losses we have in this system. Now the next variable we want to create is our glycol losses per million standard cubic feet of gas. So we're just going to take this variable that we've at, uh, created and divide that by the amount of gas we're sending into our system. We can do this by creating another user value. So I'm going to choose add again. And I showed you last time the standard units options that we have. But if we're using units that are in a different configuration than normal, for instance, in this example, we're going to be doing pounds per million standard cubic feet. So if I'm using units that are not in a standard way, but are familiar units, I can come up here to user defined units, and I can just type in my units directly. Again, this is going to be our glycol losses per million standard cubic feet of gas. It's the name of our variable, and these are our units. So I will choose OK. Now I can right click here again to create simple specifier. And this specifier is going to equal my glycol losses over my gas, or my gas flow. So those are the two variables I need to go find. I come down here to find my variables. If I scroll up to the top, I'm going to find my gas flow rate first off, which is if I close my water gas, was my wet gas stream. Open up my wet gas stream, go to phases, look at the total phase, and we just want the vapor flow rate. So I'll come down here to standard vapor volumetric flow. Check my units are in million standard cubic feet per day. And I can name this variable gas. Now I choose add. Now I need to add my glycol losses as well. So I'm going to add that as well. Now if I come back in my list, I can close the flow sheets option. And here a little bit lower, we have our user value sets. So I can actually grab that value from within my set. So I open this, look inside my first set. There's my glycol losses. I'm going to go inside its properties. I'm going to grab that parameter that I have. Once I have that selected, we'll see that unit show up here in our pounds per hour. Now with the specifier, it's important that we get our units right. So since our gas was in million standard cubic feet per day, I need this to be in pounds per day. So I will type that in and so that my units line up correctly. Now I need to just name my variable, glycol losses here. And when I choose add, now Promax is going to tell us how much glycol we're losing per million standard cubic feet. If I go back to my user value sets, execute my project again, we'll see that this shows me I'm losing about 0.12 pounds of glycol for every million standard cubic feet of gas that I send into my system. So that could be one example of a user value that you might be interested in. And so uh, that's how those are created. That's how we use specifiers along with them. Hopefully that's something that was of interest to you, something that can help as you are creating your own processes. As always, if you have any questions for us or any projects that you would like help with, I encourage you to email in or to call into our support team. Our email here is support at bre.com, bre.com. And our phone number is 979-776-5220. So thank you for watching and have a good day.